everybody, it's Cookie, and today we're going to be painting this leaf. Yep, that's right. This is the leaf that we found at Corelli Park in West Monroe, and it's going to be a really great challenge because there are lots of color variations, um, lots of different textures, and um, there's pits and speckles and just all kinds of different challenges for painting this leaf so I'm super excited it should be lots of fun so and we're gonna do it out here in plain air so let's get going all right here's our subject matter it is it has definitely turned um, colors since we found it um, it's darkened up a little bit but I did take a picture of how it originally looked Um, so I can reference that for brighter, more vivid colors, but I think it's beautiful. It's definitely going to be challenging and, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, so here it is. I did a beeswax overlay to try to slow down, um, the color change because usually after you find one out in the wild and you bring it in it begins to change colors rapidly so um, to slow that process I usually do a wax dip to try to slow that down um, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't it seems to be working quite well for this particular leaf
finished leaf. So glad. I think it turned out really great, um, even with all the challenges that um, that there were with painting. Um, if I can juggle this properly. So there it is. I think it turned out pretty much exactly spot on. What do you think? Comment below and let me know. Thanks y'all for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe at all the links below. And again, thank y'all so much and stay tuned. I've got more projects coming up. Um, Okay, I had to share this because it's so very cool. Crumbs and I were out on our way out the door um, to go into town and there by our doorstep is a very large hickory horn devil caterpillar. Um, this caterpillar actually turns into a regal moth, which I think is one of the larger uh, moths uh, in the area. Um, yeah, so... I, we, since he was extremely slimy, neither one of us wanted to just grab him because we're about to head into town. Um, so nearby was our shovel for gardening. So we gently scooped him up on the shovel and this gave a great opportunity to take some pics of him to show the size um, comparison with the shovel um, to illustrate how large this caterpillar was. Um, after I snapped some pics, then crumbs went and put him all out in the cow pasture so that way he could be on his merry way and he wouldn't be eating any of my plants or anything like that. So I thought I would share because it's super cool. I mean, how often do you get to see one of these caterpillars, right? So just feeling so lucky that I got to see, see one like this.